Morning, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. It's a icy cold cold mess out there It was zero degrees this morning Fahrenheit and indoors was 54 degrees because the Wood that I harvested burnt too fast in the night um, There were still some coals in the oven and so all I had to do was toss in some or in the wood stove all I had to do was toss in some wood on top of it and and got it got it going it's right now 80 degrees inside and 10 degrees outside at 11 o'clock in the morning I um, have been working on videos this morning because I was with Joe from Wilderness Rocks all day yesterday and we were running the roads um, basically taking care of business and running errands for me because I was had no transportation dropped off the key to the truck and uh, I got a call this morning from the mechanics already. Dropped off the key yesterday and today already they told me it is the flex plate is broken. And that explains exactly why the starter could not engage. Um, it's interesting all the grinding noise I had. Uh, I'm not quite sure why the vehicle wouldn't move. I'm wondering if they'll find something else they said they have to take that apart and then further research because I can't understand why the transmission wasn't working and all the metal grinding noises with the flex plate broken I'm, I'm concerned so I guess we'll see what they find out once they take that apart and drop that transmission so I'm hoping and praying that it's gonna be alright and it's not going to be too expensive. YouTube has, well, it's January, and the spending, the marketing, advertising funds for most companies is reduced. The holidays are over, and as of January 1st, and continuing so far for the whole month, my income has dropped 70% less than it has been for the last six months. It has been, it is now 70% reduced. And I've seen that a lot of YouTubers have noticed the same thing across the board. That's not just me. Bad news is it's not even going to pay my bills. I am a little bit concerned. So now I'm looking at possibly needing to get a job outside, which unfortunately would reduce my videos which redu re reduce my video income and considering that most jobs around here pay minimum wage or less I don't know what to do so I'm really thinking about it right now we'll see how things turn around but I'm gonna have to look for a secondary source of income now so that's that's the new news of the beginnings of 2015 and the update on the truck. Let me take you over and show you some good news. Now you see the, the clouds. It's not. This is unbelievable what I'm about to show you. But this is the advantage and the benefits of snow on solar panels. And it's really cloudy. Now normally I'd be pulling in about 12 to 15, maybe 25 watts of power with this weather condition. Let's go look at the power output. We have right now 100 oops it dropped 175 watts of power that is unbelievable 185 190 unbelievable look at that it's going up 200 watts unbelievable this is with on a cloudy day with a lot of snow on the ground that makes a humongous difference now the batteries this morning were at 11.4 volts because it was zero degrees out and I left the modem on Now these are the old forklift batteries my truck having been the tool I was going to move the new forklift batteries over to the tiny house with I currently am working on an idea to make a wagon using a wooden pallet frame but since I was gone all day yesterday I was literally gone most of the day yesterday with Joel um, taking care of errands and 
chopping wood. Actually, when I was home, I was splitting wood and stuff and doing some work around the property. But, yeah, anyway, I need to get a wagon built so I can move the forklift batteries. And hopefully I'm going to do that really soon. But John, John, the guy who helped me frame the house, is coming over for a visit soon. In about half an hour, he's going to be over to tour the tiny house on wheels and see the updates. See the updates, how the tiny house is looking. He hasn't seen a lot of the things in here. I don't think he's even seen the kitchen cabinets. I don't think he's been around to see them. That's all new for him. The under the uh, stairway closet is all new. He hasn't seen anything here in the corner. All the paneling up in the corner. He hasn't seen the uh, OSB that's waiting for tiles behind the wood stove. Actually the, the wall over there with the radiant foil wasn't done. The way the tiny house is rearranged and the furniture and how I set it up he never saw. He hasn't seen the new uh, bookshelves. The, the two of them there, the coat rack and bookshelf there. Well, it's a glove rack now. But anyway, um, can't wait to see his uh, his um, reaction when he shows up today. About 30 minutes he'll be here. So that's cool. Right now I'm working on videos. It is really, really, really cold and my feet are numb from running around outside. I just went out and gave the birds some water which will freeze quickly unfortunately and I just dug out my extension cord hopefully John if he's got the time will uh, I just had the idea of putting a external uh, electric outlet on the outside of the tiny house on wheels and this way I can hook up my heated dog watering dish for the chickens and have them give at least have them Provide them with water during the daytime hours. Heated, um, thawed, unfrozen water during the daytime hours when they're up. Nighttime doesn't matter, but daytime is important to provide liquid water and not ice for the chickens. So I hope to get a external power outlet for the tiny house on wheels and run a cord outside from the inverter to the outdoors, and then run the extension cord on over to the chicken coop and power up that 50 watt outdoor dog water bowl. So there's a lot of little birds out here. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. There's a lot of little twitty birds fluttering around all over the place eating seeds out of the weeds and the leftover stuff from the garden. They're enjoying it. It's beneficial having uh, the garden to provide food for the birds in the winter. Well, I'm going to get back to the videos and uh, wait for John's arrival. Um, Joe and I, we had breakfast this morning and parted ways. Joe from Wilderness Rocks. I want to thank you again, Joe, for helping me out yesterday. Um, I desperately needed gas for the off-grid project and the homestead here. And there was no, uh, no backup generator gas. I want to get that garden tractor running. I needed gas for the garden tractor so I can move the forklift batteries when I build my wagon that I'm going to use. So I've got to build a wagon for the forklift battery and then get the garden tractor fired up and then uh, hopefully tow it with a garden tractor over to the uh, behind the tiny house on wheels. So a lot of plans for the week but it's just really 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 cold and um, it's uh, you just can't be out too long at one time so I keep taking breaks. It slows me down a little but work goes on. Hey John, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Long, long time. So, there's a lot. It smells good. In candles, here. candles. Oh. So have a look and tell me what you see. Tell you, I'm feeling not necessary anymore. Oh no, you. I mean, no. without you, this wouldn't be standing. Oh, it's so nice in here. I couldn't have got the framing up without you. Man. Look at that wooden beam. Oh yeah, you never saw the kitchen, well, right? I mean, I've been watching the videos, but yeah, it's in per it's in person. The no, baby. Hi, baby. You remember John, no. baby cat? And he's not a box, so I don't know if I like him. She's cautious. Yeah, I have a dog, so. Right, she smells that. Look at that that barn beam. I love it. Right here, right in front of your face. Isn't that amazing? Wow. And then uh, the 
the board across, the 2x4 is going across from side to side, mm -hmm. is going to be covered in barn wood, so it'll look rustic as well. It'll be a little bit thicker than that, too. Oh, it's so nice in here. And then look at this. Look at these hooks. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? I found them. That was from the estate sale. I bought a bunch of tools, and it was all in little cans and boxes and bins. And I, I bought uh, all that they had left after the, after the sale. It was pennies on the dollar, and these were in a, in a jar. And I went out there digging. I, th I figured I could find something out there um, the other day, and those were in there. I love it. My face is frozen. I know. my. I, it's bad out it's, there. It's really cold. It's really, really cold. And then you didn't see this here either, did you? Yeah. No. Now, that's, that's not done. You know, it takes time because of the weather out here, trying to salvage wood. and. Mm -hmm. But that's going to have... Um, I did this the other night, too. You haven't seen that. That's all new wiring. I'm going to have bracing. I'm going to close off the ends here. And then I'm going to have like a closed off box with all my power outlets inside that. And the wires will be hidden behind trim work. So... Oh, and I got the right... Oh, baby cat. I got the right shirt on, don't I? Oh, look at that. The off-grid project. It's good. <laughs> I've lost 12 pounds with this job. What's that? I have to oh, your new job. More. Yeah. Oh, good. That's healthy. Deliver and That's good for you. I'm always moving fast. And healthy. Uh, it was too a little too cold for the hoodie, though. Yeah. So I had to put the a jacket. Okay. But, yeah, yeah, so what do you think? Oh, look here. The corner. I didn't see that, right? No, you never saw that. And in the cabinet under the uh, under the stairway? I saw, I saw that being done. Being done. But you haven't seen all that done there. And the OSB behind the wood stove is new since you were here. And the radiant foil up there is all done. Mm -hmm. That's all new. And then, uh, actually you haven't seen, I don't think you saw the, the OSB on the kitchen walls either, did you? Just on the video. That's all good. All new. Yeah, that turned out, um, it finally did cure. It took a long, long time, but it finally yeah. cured. Yeah, it's, oh, wow. it's good. Yeah, it, it actually... I really want to do some more, so what I'm going to have to do is, in summer, I'll have to coat it. But the problem is it takes weeks to cure. Yeah. So I really want to get a lot more on there, a lot thicker. How did you get the... Oh, it's actually the actual grain. Has risen. Wow, that's Isn't it interesting? Cool. How, yeah, it is. I like it. It almost looks like you took a brush. The, the, the wood grain raised up yeah, somehow. Raised like yeah, I, I'm quite amazed. Because that was sanded. And yeah. so I guess the varnish pulled the grain up. Probably because it took so long at cure, it swelled the wood, I'm betting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the pallet wood from... Um, I, actually, you followed me home that day when I picked up that load in oh, Newburgh. Yeah. Remember that? Okay. Remember when All I was right. really worried because that truck was overloaded. Yeah. That was a dangerous load. That was higher than the cab of the truck. Boy, it's a nice view from the kitchen sink. I never saw this view before. Oh, I love it. I stand out here and look out here a lot. Oh, hello. Look. Oh, the baby. Up my head. <laughs> That's funny. The baby cat. <laughs> she loves the stairway. I got a haircut. Yesterday, haircut. You like it? She yeah. loves the stairs. She loves this house. Boy. And in the bathroom didn't have walls. No. That's all new. And the toilet is in there and yeah, that's all new. Right now it's storage. But it's good, huh? It's looking good. And and it's what is it? 76 degrees. Wow. 76 degrees and it was uh well, it's getting up there in the teens now outside, but it was zero this morning. Yes. And I got it warm and cozy in here. I love it. I'm feeling good. Yeah, I know it's it's nice to get in here after working outside and freezing out there and coming out in here is so nice. She's something. Yeah. So that somehow we gotta get that back up there. Yeah, I've, I'm gonna tape it. I'm gonna I, I haven't got to it yet, but I'm gonna put tape on it because remember that one? That one was on the edge. We uh -huh. couldn't get that to staple Just up for anything. Stretch it far enough. And it ripped off and. You know, we never did finish that there, no. that piece. I, I, you know, I wasn't worried about it because it was, it was, it was a hundred degrees in here. And <laughs> so right now though, I want to finish it. I'm just going to put tape on the edge and then get it over. And then I'm going to staple the tape and that'll, that'll secure that up there. And a lot of them are ripping with time. They're, they're all starting to rip at the seams. The ones that weren't fitting quite right. Mm -hmm. 24 on center isn't always exactly, they don't give you a lot of meat on the sides. Nope. Not not much at all on the sides. 
No. So, yeah. well, the viewers are going to be happy to see you. They've been begging me to bring you back. I'm glad to be here. Now it's just on visiting terms and checking it out, but yeah, they missed you. Well, spring's coming. We got we got trees to cut down. We got the oh yeah, I got the tower to get up. I can come out and help you with the tower. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot, but right now it's just so cold. Now today's a good solar day, cause no. Actually, yeah, I was pulling in over 200 watts. It was actually the uh, the controller's limiting the power. You said it reflects off the sun, and, I mean the snow. Yeah. Cool. Um, the, the controller is reducing the amount of power I'm pulling in because the batteries can't absorb it. So that's good. My only negative thing right now is the internet. They, uh, I haven't had good internet. It's been coming and going since the day they installed it. They had too many people connected to one line. And so they had to reroute some of the customers. Problem is, I have 250 kilobit upload speed. It's taken me five hours to upload a 20 minute video today. Oh, wow. Five hours. Um, back in the, in the modem days, it was 384 kilobit. So I'm, I'm less than the original first modems of the pioneer computer days wow. i'm slower than the first dial-up modems and that's because of the because they're having troubles they have too many people on one line that isn't right they should uh, they should expand their, their system that's frontier i am not a fan of frontier but it's the only provider out here wow so that's why i haven't been online much i haven't been able to keep up with the comments much and my videos are very sporadic you'll notice they aren't uploaded at 9 a.m anymore it's just hit and miss Computer's gonna run all day to upload a video, five hours, wow. and I've got three three videos I want to make live today, so it's gonna run literally all day. Well, we got the batteries for it today. Yeah, look at baby. Look, she's so happy. <laughs> look at her. You can tell that's a happy cat. Still checking me out, like. Yeah, she is. Guy? She knows you. Huh? The baby cat. You remember him? Who's that guy? Yeah, she's happy here. It's comfortable. Oh, yeah, it's cozy in here. It's really nice. I wouldn't get much done myself. I think I'd be uh, <clears throat> staying inside, that's for sure. I know I am in here a lot, warming up. Beautiful. I'm in here a lot, taking breaks, warming up. I mean, when it's when it's it's 76 inside and uh, in the teens out, so it's not nice. But, uh, I mean, it's not nice out. It's really nice in. I was watching some older videos of the older, cam oh, well, what used to be this camper. Yeah. And uh, how you were struggling with the... Oh, it was cold. Always about the temperature. Oh, it was terrible. Waking up to ice in the water. Cat's water dish frozen all the time. Everything frozen all the time. It was harsh. It was rough. Yeah. Yeah, this place is nice. I have only built a fire four times since I built this house. Four times. That wood stove is so good that the um, I had to build a fire when I first started the wood stove after you left and helped me install it. I built a fire. I keep it going to keep the house warm. These pretty turned down. So they are really cranked a, down. Wow. I I built a fire when we when after you helped me finish this and I kept the fire going. Mm -hmm. The fire went out at Thanksgiving when I was gone. The fire went out at Christmas when I was gone, and the fire went out the other day uh, a few days ago. It was too cold out and I had the wood stove cranked up too high. Yeah. Four? Can you imagine? That thing burns nonstop. How amazing! I can leave that for twelve hours. That blows away anything I've ever had. That is nice. And you feel it's comfortable. Oh, it's nice in here. He's yep. He's staring. Baby cat, what are you staring like that? Huh? Well, he didn't bring a box or anything. Baby cat. Huh? Do you want a box? Uh, it might be just a dog smell. <laughs> it's a little dog, if that helps. The poodle. You can beat it up, baby cat. Probably. You can take it. Yeah. You can take it, Fuzzy. Huh. You can do it. <laughs> what are you looking so weird? She's yeah. staring at you. Hey. That's a great. No baby. I'm lazy. It's too warm in here for you, huh? It's too cozy. We should make it cold so you have to get up and run around for energy. <laughs> huh? Wow. Yeah, there's no, uh, I was thinking there's no... Remember you used to fight the ants, you'd fight the mice. No, no mice. Not a single 
problem at all. Now the RV is being invaded in waves. I've got mouse bait and poison and traps. I keep finding dead mice all over the place. The RV is being attacked in droves. But that was always non-stop. The camper, same thing. There were mice, un just armies of them. Here? No, they can't get in here. No, not, not through the bottom. <laughs> nope. No, oh, how's the floor feel on your Good. feet? It's warm, huh? Shoes off. I got no skirting on this. That's right, there's no skirting. It's this, still good. This floor is good, huh? It's cool. Yeah, I love that. My now, beam. This was in the pile? That was in that pile. Wow. Yep. It almost looks, it's so perfect. I know, I love it. I love the uh, the curved, see the bark uh, still yeah. on it, on the, uh, mm -hmm. the old original bark? Yeah. I love it. I don't know what wood it is, because it's got a reddish bark. Um, at first I thought it was oak because it's really really heavy, but I am learning about heartwood Back in the day the uh, that's why barnwood is so valuable hmm. The even the pine back then was super hard wood because it There was too much competition For the trees growing in the wild the old forests, the mm -hmm. ancient forests and so the trees would be struggling for sunlight and they would grow slower so the rings oh, wow. The rings in the wood, you'll notice actually here, they're really tight. they're really tight together right here. Huh. So the 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 growth rings in the wood was really tight patterns, which made it really really dense wood, and made pine almost as as hard as a hardwood back in the day, and that's why the barn wood is so valuable and popular, and that's why this stuff like that that board back there, mm -hmm. that could be pine for all I know, but that is hard wood, a heavy really heavy. That was so heavy, but I love the aged look of it. I'm not going to change it. Let's see the nail holes in it, the uh, the stains from the barn nails. Oh, okay. Yeah. It adds character. Yeah. And I'm going to do all the trim with that most likely in here in the walls. Problem is, it's continuously covered with snow and ice, so it's really hard to 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 get the wood. And then you bring it in. And then it starts to crack and shrink, so uh, it's it's slower going in winter, working with reclaimed lumber. It's a lot yeah. slower work. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like doing something, but what could we do? Oh, no, I just, I'm happy to hear, have you here to visit for just, now. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Right now, it's I, I need to get the wind turbine up, but it's too cold. It's just so cold. Upstairs, the, the, um, the loft mm -hmm. actually has become storage for the insulation which I haven't even put up yet. Now notice how toasty warm it is here. There's no insulation in the walls up there. None. Oh. Look. Oh, just in the ceiling. Nothing. I forgot. Nothing. I never did it. Wow. <laughs> huh. This place is going to be a hot box when I put that insulation and radiant foil up. Yeah. Just breathing is in here is going to keep it warm. You're going to need a storage trailer or something. For what? All the materials? Tough. No, that's all just um, that's all empty boxes and stuff from. I just haven't been able to burn because it's been so uh, windy. Yeah. So I'll take them out. Now are you doing another section on top of that? On the tower? I for now that's that's it. I might go one more section high later, mm -hmm. but for now I just want to get the twenty foot pipe. I have a water pipe goes oh, on top okay. of that, and then I'll have a 30 foot high wind turbine, and that'll give me a decent amount of wind. And then the trees out behind that camper, the workshop camper, have to come down. You can see, if you look here, there's a there's a clump of trees right here, and you can see this 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 um, peak of trees. There's a big clump right there, right. and right over here there's a clump, and behind that you can see almost see daylight um, through. Mm -hmm. So if I cleared out that little front row of trees here, mm -hmm. um, I'll have sunlight almost to sundown, almost to you know to this oh, yeah. actual sunset. And then I'm going to take out these clumps of trees right by this rock right up front, mm -hmm. and then this trees these two over here. And then when I put the solar panels on a angled um, roof, I'm going to have an overhang on the house roof. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have plenty of solar power on the have the solar panels on the roof on an overhang and it'll give me sort of an, almost a porch area protected from the elements 
Yeah, we could get those trees down. They're not too bad. They're not too dangerous. I mean, they... My only concern is if they hit the wires. I mean, uh... The solar panel wires? No, the, um, um, chicken fence. I'm worried yeah. about hitting the chicken fence. That's why I haven't done it yet. I think the ones to your left... Yeah, those... That should be first. And yeah. And we can drop these... You know what place I... to drop them. Well, what I was thinking is a pole cutter. One of those uh, pole saws would knock out a lot of those branches yeah. and make them less dangerous. But yeah, I think with a come along, if I move the solar panels out of the yard here yeah. and a come along, um, I think first actually cut these trees first because what I can do is pull it to that tree over here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean use those trees? Use, uh, the yeah, use the, that to tie to the come along okay. to pulling these trees in that direction yep. and cut them. And they're ne they're small enough. They should cut easily. They should a, be a... I have a manual pole saw. Yeah, that'd be a job, wouldn't it? But it we should check. Hard. We should go to town and see what it costs to rent one. We, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm uh, by the way, for, for the record, John, mm -hmm. I'm inviting you to dinner, lunch, whatever you want to call it, for all the help you've done for me. Yep. And uh, I want to make state this for the record, so that, uh, and that's just the beginning of of. Uh, there's no way I can pay you back, John, for everything I you've had done. A, a good time. But uh, good I figure time. we can go to town and check ha the hardware store and see what a, a gas-powered pole saw cost to rent. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if you want to do some cutting, we can do some cutting and have some fun. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. well let's uh, hit the road, huh? It's time to eat. Let's eat. All right. <laughs>